Welcome to the Smithsonian Learning Lab. In this video, you'll learn about collections, what they are, and how you can interact with them. A collection is our name for a learning experience. Collections are aggregations of resources for learning. Anyone can create a collection, teachers and students. To help you understand what a collection is, I'll show you two examples of collections used for learning. This is a student activity collection created by a Smithsonian educator, Ashley Naranjo. It focuses on a primary source, a letter written by the artist Yasuo Kuniyoshi to George Biddle as a way to explore Japanese American incarceration during World War II. Every collection looks essentially like this one. At the top, we've got the title of the collection and a brief description. You can click on the Read More button to read the full description of the collection. The description usually includes information about the collection, instructions for use, content area, grade level, and any other information the author has chosen to include, hashtags, citations, and more. Underneath this introductory content, there are rows of images, uh, thumbnails, each one of these images is a resource that I can click on to view in greater detail. On some of them, we also see little paper clips in the corner. That means that the author has, has added annotations, text, highlights, and questions to enhance the activity. When you click on this first tile, you can see there are four annotations. There is uh, text, there are, there's hot spots with transcribed information. There are quiz questions. And then there's also more textual information. This collection also includes content from outside of the Smithsonian that was uploaded by the creator of the collection. There are also buttons in the top right of the collection to copy to your own collection for further editing, to favorite by clicking the heart, to share, cite, print, and more. You can also share a collection simply by copying the URL. Here's another collection, this one by Matthew Decker, who teaches English and writing composition at Montgomery College. It's a gallery of student artifacts. Each tile here represents the contribution of one student with an uploaded object and their written description that contextualizes their object within the class exhibition. You can click on each tile to see and read their narrative. These are just two examples among many of how educators are using the Learning Lab and digital museum content for learning. The links to these collections are in the video description below. If you wanna begin searching for collections, watch the video linked in the description.